Before the Pixel 8 and iPhone 15 arrive, let's deep dive and compare both cameras. It's Apple versus Android. Who will win? Let's get it. All right, on our left, we have the Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max. Man, that's a mouthful. All right, we have a 48 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel telephoto camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and on the front, we have a 12 megapixel selfie cam. As for video, we can shoot 4K 60 on all cameras. Now, on the right, we have the Pixel 7 Pro, my personal phone, and we have a 50 megapixel main, 48 megapixel telephoto, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 10.8 megapixel selfie camera on the front. And like the iPhone, all cameras can shoot up to 4K 60. Okay, now just to preface this test, none of these pictures have been altered or edited in any way. I didn't use any special mode or setting in the camera. Also, I'm viewing this on a Samsung M8 monitor. So what I see may be a little different than what you're seeing on your screen. I'll do my best to make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. All right, so let's get into photos. Two things I notice about the iPhone, okay? It tends to either crush the picture with really dark shadows and heavy contrast or swing the other way and overcompensate by turning the contrast down. Now, when we put these two pictures side by side, I think we see the difference right out of the gate. This is a really hard picture to pull off. Okay. I'm essentially shooting into the sun surrounded by a dark dashboard. That's really hard to pull off. iPhone has again crushed the trees in focus. The contrast is way up and you can't see almost like any details in the trees. It's very dark compared to the pixel, but for the sake of brightness on the pixel, we now have lots of noise and grain on the dashboard. Something else I noticed uh, in taking hundreds of pictures is the iPhone tends to shoot in a warmer color temperature. The color temperature difference is most obvious. Check looking at this blue rope. It's hard to tell which is the correct blue until you look at the granite underneath it and notice how orange it is on the left compared to the right. And in reality, the right is definitely the most accurate. Now, this one with the tools, this one is very interesting because when you look closely, it's such a range of colors, specifically in the reds and oranges. Now, this is how you know the iPhone shoots warmer because all of these reds and oranges are way more saturated than the Pixel. This drill and wrench are basically red when in reality, the Pixel is well, the pixel is the closest to reality and iPhone again has much more contrast. The picture looks a little deep fried or crunchy. You know what I mean? I got to give props to Google for getting their color science down perfectly, like literally perfect. It's, it's like I took a screenshot with my own eyes. Perfect. And we can see this again with this pic, um, the wind chime. Notice how red the cable is on the right here compared to the pixel. Now in reality, the color of the cable on the right is much closer to reality. And please, as I go through these, let me know which photos look best to you in the comments below. I'm super curious what you guys think. Now, portrait mode is basically identical on the two. Again, my skin has warmer tones on the iPhone, but surprisingly, we have more saturated picture on the iPhone. The pixel is accurate with the blacks, although we have noise on my shirt on both phones. Both phones have noise and gain there. The cutout is nice and clean on both, although I don't have a lot of hair, so it's kind of hard to test that unless I put a wig on or something. This one's tough. I think this one's a tie because I can imagine if, if I needed a profile picture, I could totally see myself using either one. I think they both look good. What do you guys think? Okay, the selfie camera is a perfect example of the two main differences between these two phones. So. Both of these pictures are perfectly fine, perfectly fine photos. They're actually very good photos. And it's actually a very hard picture to pull off again. Uh, there's a lot of elements here that could be overlooked. For one, I'm in direct sunlight, which means harsh shadows and a blown out sweaty forehead. So HDR is being put to the test. 
We have the blue sky and trees behind, which really show the iPhone's color science. And finally, I'm black, so my skin tone needs to be correct. For skin tone, I would say both cameras handle that very well. Now in the shade, the difference is actually very surprising. I personally feel like there's a very clear winner here on which picture looks best. Everything I've been saying about the HDR, the grayness, the flatness is on full display on the left. I kind of look like a zombie, like lifeless. My skin tone is all wonky. Now the right, the pixel isn't perfect either. Okay, seeing quite a bit of noise on my shirt, but the shadows and the contrast are accurate, which is why I personally prefer the pixel. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now the ultra wide continues the same, I wouldn't say issues, the same trends, right? Um, the iPhone is much more contrasty and the pixel is very saturated. And it kind of feels like the iPhone kind of turned the contrast up to 11 on the ultra wide. I'm not sure what happened here. Uh, we again have a much warmer picture picture than the pixel, much warmer picture than the pixel. Same with this bush. We have a very contrasty iPhone shot and a warmer pixel shot. I actually prefer the iPhone on this one. To be honest, the green looks really good and it's a little extra contrasty and dark, but I like that. Now we are rocking different telephoto hardware here. Again, the Pixel has a 5X lens and the iPhone has a 3X lens. So comparing the two is a bit tricky as we're now talking about different focal lengths. So it's almost not fair. The iPhone's pictures looks really good actually. I have no complaints. Now the Pixel is zoomed in more and now it's kind of a different picture. We don't have the gaping shadow that we do in the iPhone, but the pixel is still a bit unsaturated and flat. I would expect the tree to be a bit greener. Not sure what happened there. Now for this bush picture, this is where the two are pretty much tied. Yeah, the iPhone is a bit more contrasty, but the colors are excellent. Honestly, the differences are so minimal to me that I don't feel there's a clear winner with the telephoto lens other than the pixel can zoom in closer with more detail. Okay, this is the last bit on photos, night mode. Every phone has a night mode now, and so far the pixel has yet to be matched. Now, these two photos look basically the same, right? But, uh, let's pixel peep, yeah? Let's look at the PS5 and the cables here. This is where the pixel is leaps and bounds beyond everyone else, okay? So, the iPhone is blown out around the TV, and understandably so, because that's where the light is. Notice how we lose details and it starts to get noisy and grainy in this area on the wall. Also, notice the huge haloing around the cable. And notice how we don't have any of that in the pixel. Even though it's a dark room and I'm pointing the phone at the only light source, it's not blown out. It's even. We have way more details in the walls, zero haloing anywhere. Another clear example is the bathroom light only being lit by a dim nightlight, okay? Zooming in here, there is a very clear difference. iPhone is very grainy, noisy, crunchy. The color is off. It's like green. It's almost like the picture on the left is from a phone from five years ago. It doesn't look good, to be honest. The pixel shot, you'd think this was lit with like an actual light, but no, it's just a nightlight, okay? We have way more detail. It looks fantastic. All right, let's move on to videos. So for context, both phones can shoot up to 4K 60 and that is what I'll be filming in for the rest of this video. Now video is more akin to what we saw with the ultra wide cameras. iPhone is dark and contrasty, a bit desaturated and gray and Pixel seems to have turned up the saturation a little further than reality. We see that again when we get up close. The Pixel looks almost overly saturated this plant looks very green. <laughs> now iPhone doesn't look bad by any means, 
but there is a small difference between the two. Let me know what you think below again. Now for selfie videos, immediately you can see the difference. I haven't even started the video and I'm already a gray zombie on the iPhone. The difference in contrast is actually staggering, actually. Notice in this section, the background is almost completely blown out on the iPhone. While the Pixel maintains its HDR, although there's, there's a bit of noise, right? And again, I'm not going easy on these cameras. This is a hard shot to pull off. I'm black, wearing a black hoodie in the shade with broad daylight in the background. That's pretty hard for any camera. Now, once we're in the sunlight, things start to even out. Contrast is appropriate on the iPhone. Well, the Pixel is a bit harsher. Like I can't even see my own eyes on the Pixel. So that's a little bit concerning. I would like to see my own eyes. The colors themselves are basically identical. I think both look good as long as you don't push the iPhone too much. Now for ultra wide, the same is true. There's no, no surprises here. The same things that we've gone over this whole video are present here. All right, so just as the telephoto photos were similar, the same is true for video. Colors are identical, even though we have a tighter zoom on the Pixel. Now the iPhone can zoom up to 9X maximum, which is not a lot compared to other phones like this Pixel and Samsung, which you know can do 100X and other phones that can do 100X, 10X. It's kind of low. The Pixel can zoom up to 20X maximum, and we can see that here. I mean, both videos are not, I mean, I wouldn't call that, me personally, I wouldn't call that usable footage, but you have it. I mean, it's cool. I mean, if you're doing a lot of spying, sure. I don't know. So overall, I feel like both phones are not perfect at everything, um, but I do think one phone is more perfect than the other. The Pixel 7 Pro. Again, with the Pixel, it's as if I took a screenshot with my own eyes. Colors, contrast, HDR, all of it is nearly perfect to my eyes. And it is definitely my favorite smartphone camera, possibly of all time. I've never had so much confidence in a smartphone camera. When I take that picture, I don't have to double check and make sure I got a good shot because I know I got a good shot. Now, this doesn't mean the iPhone 14 Pro Max is a bad camera. It's not. It's a really good camera. It's a great camera, but I think the Pixel is better. So sound off in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. What other things did you like to see about the Pixel 7 Pro? Because I don't have the iPhone anymore. <laughs> I had it. I got rid of it. I didn't like it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.